Now on that moment on the football field, so many were watching last night. Green Bay Packers, Chicago Bears linking arms in a show of unity during the national anthem. ABC TJ Holmes, he, yeah, that story. Yeah, uh, Robert, we've been tuning in this season to see the games, but we're also tuning in to see what happens before the games. Who's going to sit? Who's going to kneel during the anthem? Well, last night it wasn't about that. It was actually about linking arms, but this was the first time that the crowd was asked to participate in demonstrations, and this all came on a day when we got what many found to be a peculiar your statement on the issue from the White House. Oh, say, can you see? Before the longtime rivals faced off on Thursday night football, both the hometown Green Bay Packers and the visiting Chicago Bears stood and locked arms with their teammates in a show of unity during the national anthem. Some fans chose to join in, locking arms as well, others waving flags of their own. That demonstration of love and unity. In the wake of President Trump calling for players kneeling during the national anthem to be fired, Green Bay star quarterback Aaron Rodgers said in addition to the cheers, he heard negativity yelled from the crowd during the anthem. What's disrespectful to the anthem? Yelling things during it or standing at attention with arms locked facing the flag? On Thursday, the president reiterated his stance on Fox, calling out NFL team owners. I think they're afraid of their players. You want to know the truth, and I think it's disgraceful. ABC's Mary Bruce pressed the White House on Trump's statement. The president this morning said he believes NFL team owners are afraid of their players. What did he mean by that? Uh, probably the, the backlash of the players and the, the stance that they're making, um, you know, and not wanting to create that conflict within their team. And when asked to clarify the president's stance, the press secretary said this. I don't think there's much to clarify. Yes, I think it, is. it was this pretty, is a big pretty black and white there. While Sanders says the issue is black and white, one recent poll shows public opinion is divided along racial lines. While 63% of whites said kneeling in protest during the anthem is inappropriate, just 31% of non-whites agreed. Now, the president said the owners are afraid of the players. It's worth noting, at least the Green Bay Packers, a publicly owned team. <laughs> They're owned by the right. actual uh, fans. And with something else here to note, Delani Walker of the Tennessee Titans, tight end there, um, is getting death threats, he says, over this issue after he made a statement about supporting his team for what they, their demonstration they made. So this thing that started as a silent protest, started as something to even unify, as you see there, is now uh, spiraled into something that it needs to calm down before we can actually probably get anything when, done. When unity is seen as a bad thing, but Aaron Rodgers, he said it, and, and many people thought that way too. There, there, many people are complaining about um, during the anthem, and yeah. they're booing. What's more disrespectful, exactly. booing during the anthem or silently protesting? It seems so simple, but uh, but we'll see what happens on Sunday. Yeah, let's hope we have a lot less of it on Sunday. That's yeah. true. Okay, TJ, thanks. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.